Hi, it's Laura Waldman, The Abundance Activator, and I would really like to share personally with you some of the, the inner game struggles I've been working through for what feels like ages with you today. I want you to know what's been going on for me so that you know you're not alone. Because one fascinating thing I discovered when I, you know, since I started working with money and abundance in particular, having now spoken and coached hundreds and hundreds of people on this subject, is that we're not that different from each other. It amazed me that most people seem to be asking for very similar things around freedom, joy, ease, contribution, and the abundance blocks. You know, what's stopping or blocking you? Honestly, the similar patterns are running in everyone. Now, we all have our own unique story and our own unique experiences, but those underlying belief systems, programs, patterns are not that different. So I want to share some of mine, right? And this has been a real journey for me to get to this point, to even be able to show up and share this with you now. See, I've been hiding a part of myself for a very long time. I locked this part of myself away a long time ago. Um, at some points around age eight, and then again, sort of in my teenage years. And I feel like it's only now that I'm starting to liberate this part of myself. And of course, it's been a step-by-step -step journey, you know, showing up more one step at a time. And every step of my journey, there's, you know, there's more, there's more to discover about yourself, right? Uh, we're never done. So one of, well, my core patterns, my core abundance blocks have been this feeling that I'm too much. I'm too intense. I'm too emotional. I'm too sensitive. I feel too much. I see too much. What I see and know is too weird. It's too out there. People aren't going to get me. And I feel alone, unsupported, unloved, unworthy. These are deep, dark in the shadows of shame. I say that our abundance lies in the shadows of shame. And part of my journey on my own personal money and abundance journey has been coming back into connection with these parts of myself that I shut off from and disconnected from. I started my healing journey going into the healing world. So I spent a lot of years in this beautiful high frequency, really high vibrational energies, these higher realms. I have the gift of being able to tap into different dimensions of consciousness, and I've been playing in those realms for a long time. Love it. Doing very, very deep, powerful energy work, healing work, understanding how, you know, the energetics of things. Um, and that's been amazing. Um, and this money, I was guided to do this money work as a way to ground all of that, ground all of it into the material world. Because I was in this beautiful realms of spirituality, but I was broke. And we had no money. And I realized that my impact was being weakened. It wasn't as impactful when I wasn't really fully in the world. I wasn't in the world. I was in these higher realms. I wasn't really grounded. I wasn't really in my body. There was a part of myself that I was disconnected from. And that was really impacting my finances, how things were materializing and showing up in my physical reality. So I was spiritually wealthy and then financially poor. And now I started to be guided to transform this around, to turn this around. And it has been a journey, I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't happened overnight. But fundamentally what I had to find was the part of myself that I buried, that I'd hidden, that I disconnected from, where I was hiding my abundance, hiding my wealth. And this was lying deep down within myself, a part of myself I cut off from, a part of myself I disconnected from, a part of myself that I judged, a part of myself that I was repulsed by, that felt disgusting, that felt bad that felt unlovable, that felt unworthy, that felt undeserving. And I'm exposing this with you now because everyone has this on some level. Um, we hide a part of ourselves deep down in ourselves, And this is also where we hide our power. It's where we hide our prosperity. It's where we hide our purpose. And that part of you that doesn't feel like there's any room for you in the world is a part of you that you need to discover. It needs to be learned that it's safe, that it's welcome, that it's part of you is lovable, and it's highly valuable. And you, you hold your gifts in here, you hold your love in here, your joy, your wealth, and it's hiding deep down inside of you. 
So now what I found amazing is I've had to courageously, <laughs> it feels very courageously, face all my deepest fears to keep showing up, to keep sharing, to be visible. Um, I've been very guided to be quite visible. I did had zero interest in making videos, being on YouTube, being on social media. I was guided to. Trust me, I'd still be hiding out if I could be. Um, but having to come out and be visible meant I had to face my deepest, darkest shadows. Having to do this money work, again, had no interest in doing money work. None whatsoever. Didn't want to talk about it, <laughs> but I was guided to. And now I understand the divine intelligence of all that inner guidance, you know. And so if we tap into our inner guidance, our inner wisdom, we'll be guided to take action steps to, to really help you um, transform your life, but it's also at the same time doing deep inner healing work, deep, deep inner transformation work, the inner transformation for outer change. So now I've noticed that the too much me, the too powerful me, the too intense me, the too emotional me, the too vulnerable me, the too sensitive me, the too weird me, is actually the part that really needs to come out and really needs to be here. Um, this part of me is very powerful and equally very vulnerable. Uh, incredibly powerful transformation work and also very, very sensitive. And also, you know, all those bits need to be acknowledged and it's the same for you. And I'm completely amazed how our power and our vulnerability are deeply connected. And this is when we're talking about heart aligned power, heart aligned wealth, so that whatever you're creating is contributing to the life, to all of life, to the lives of others, as well as to yourself. And I really feel that we're here to come back into greater connection to remember our true abundant nature so that everything you're doing is really contributing to your life, to your body, to your business, to your bank account, but also to others at the same time. It's not separate. We are not separate from each other. So that's a little bit of where I am today. You're going to notice me speaking probably a bit more boldly, a bit more powerful, but connection between sex, money, power. Um, it's very exciting work. Um, yes, it's confronting, but it's incredibly liberating. I feel this work is about setting you free, setting yourself free from the shackles of the past, the shackles of past pain, past wounding, past trauma, these uh, old energies designed to control and manipulate and weaken your power. We're here to transform it all. And I'm here to support you with that as well. So if you have any questions, if you would like support with this, please look below this video. Please reach out to me. I'd be very happy to hear from you. Thank you for receiving me and witnessing me today in my vulnerability and my great power and my great sensitivity. And I'm here to receive you and yours as well. Sending you my deepest love and speak to you again very soon.